Hi and welcome back to our live crafting session. Mm -hmm. It is Tuesday. I know that for sure. It's Tuesday the 16th of August. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us, whether you're joining live or on replay and whether that's on Facebook or on YouTube. If you were following yesterday's live session, you will know that we used the Stylish Sketches stamp set. Hopefully you can see that a little bit of reflection I'm sorry about that certainly darker this evening than it has been for a while and let me show you the cards that we have made and I had an idea and if you follow me sometimes my ideas work sometimes they don't but I thought of stamping onto some black card and using the white watercolour pencil to make it look like it had been sketched in um, chalks so that's my idea we'll see whether it works anyway these are the ones that I've created so far um, this week and we have this one here so just some simple watercolouring with our pencils to create these and these have been popped onto our very vanilla note cards and envelopes and I've decorated up the envelopes as you can see so I've had great fun with the stamp set just sweet little fox I know foxes aren't everybody's cup of tea in the stamp set there are also some figs and associated fig leafage and that's what they look like stamped and coloured in. So let us have a look and give this a go. So this particular stamp set is a free stamp set that you can earn when you spend £45 or more between now and the end of August and it's um, it comes with the three images and also some little um, dots which are really useful and they are quite well hidden but just in that center there I'm not sure that you can see those on the screen though okay so let's give this a go see how we get on and move these samples out of the way and I'm going to be stamping in Versamark onto some basic black card and then I'm going to use our white embossing powder and a heat tool to heat set everything. So if you are joining me live, do say hi. It's nice to know who's watching. The first thing I am going to do is just use our embossing body over the black card. Now, I may do two images on this card, but I'm just going to cover it over anyway, like so, and that just stops the static um, drawing the embossing powder to any um, oils that I might leave from my hands or anything. Okay, so I'm going to use the fox, I'm just going to clean it first, make sure it's clean from earlier. And I've got a Versamark ink pad and I'm just applying this to the stamp like so. Hopefully that's got enough coverage and then I'm going to pop this on the bottom of our black card. like so I'm going to add the powder and heat set it and then do my colouring 
before I decide what sentiment I'm going to put on. Because it's slightly experimental, I want to make sure it's actually going to work. So I'm just going to tap this in here. Obviously, taking my little spoon out of my tub. There we go. So there's the fox detail. The lid onto that and then I'm going to heat set this just going to let my heat to warm up and give it a go so we've certainly had some rain this afternoon not currently raining at the moment though Okay, so just getting that to temperature. And then moving it over the card and the image. Until it's all melted. going to check that it's shiny if it's dull it means that you haven't heated it enough but that's that will do nicely so hi Jeanette thanks for your message about the class looking forward to that one and um, obviously you're taking it as a class in a box so I've got my white chalk marker just going to make sure that's cooled off a little bit and um, I'm just going to use this so I want the whole thing to look as if it's been produced in chalk so I have no idea if it's going to work we also have uh, you may have a chalk marker um, or possibly a chalk gel pen we used to sell um, white gel pens so possibly that would work but I think that might be too bright and therefore you wouldn't see the detail and I was thinking originally I would use the aqua painter but I don't think I'll need to because I think it'll be too um, what's the word too dilute okay so just basically filling in the fox detail with our white chalk marker So that seems to be working all right. I've put my glasses on, <laughs> seen from a distance. Oh, thank you, Jeanette, that's fine. Yeah, so that's worked. So yes, the rain's been on and off since sort of one o'clock here quite hard at between sort of 4 and 5.30 just when I needed to go out of course okay so just filling that in and I guess you could add a little bit of colour to it if you wanted to look like um, pastels but it was the chalk effect 
that I really wanted to get. So let me know if you think that has, that has worked. And the nice thing, of course, about using a pencil is you don't get the dust <laughs> from real chalk. I guess you could use real chalk on there as well, if you had it. So there, I'm quite pleased with that. I might try the ducks on this side, just to see how those go. I'm just going to trim it off. so that I'm not handling it too much and I've got my fingers crossed that my technology stays put it's been a little bit um, in and out today with my setup with my microphone and my camera and it kept dropping either the microphone or the camera okay so there's that one and let's try the ducks on this one and then if that works I'll just turn those into cards I'll add some sentiments either straight onto here or I will do that um, into a separate piece but yeah please with that let's see what the ducks look like so I'm just adding a little bit more in case I've turned that piece over. Oh my goodness. A wasp nest. Do you know that you're the second person to tell me about a wasp's nest today. Hope everything's okay, Jill. You can watch catch up on replay, don't worry. Okay, so let's grab those ducks and I'll do this one. Um, that way around. Grab that. And the same thing, I'm going to use Versamark. And this is an old Versamark pad. I'm just going to make sure it's well inked up. I do have refills for those. So I'm just going to pop those at the bottom. And again, I could put these through my die cutting machine with those dies to create the um, the sort of torn sketchbook look. So I might do that with one of them. Let's grab the embossing powder. There we go. Tiny bit of excess there. Just going to heat these again. Same thing, just let your heat gun warm up first, though. So those are the ducks. Now I'm just wondering whether to add white and then a bit of colour or whether to leave them as chalk effect designs. Let me just add some white to start with. Obviously, there's quite a bit of detail on this stamp anyway. It's not like a single line image, but what I do like to do when I try techniques like this is to look through my stamp sets and see what other stamps you could do this with to 
get this same effect. Okay, so I'm going to add a bit of white here. Like so. And I'm just going to try a little bit of colour on top. See whether it works. To do with some old olive so there's the old olive so did you manage to get some colouring done and some crafting done Jeanette with your granddaughter the other day when they said you were hoping to okay a little bit of that and a little bit of the brown here So obviously it's, it's more subtle than directly onto a lighter colour. Let's add a little bit of orange for the beaks. And the feet. Like so. have a look see so if I bring these up to the screen this is the fox obviously just all in white and then this one I've added white first just to give it a little bit of lightness behind and then the color but in the light you can't really see that detail it's quite difficult isn't it I can see it, but I'm not sure it transfers very well. Oh, good fun playing with a five-year-old. That's what we like to hear. Okay, so let's add some sentiments to that. I am just going to open a drink. Excuse me. I meant to open it beforehand. Although it's been raining, it's still very close here. So I'm going to add some sentiments. I want something that's fairly, um, it's going to stand out fairly well against that. So I'm thinking of these ones here. I've got a thank you and happy birthday from our go-to greetings. I think certainly the thank you ducks look like, oh yes they do rather, don't they? <laughs> so I'll bring this down a little bit although I want to keep it roughly in that sort of proportion so let's try this again I'm just going to use Versamark to ink it up So, and the powder. So there's that one. And I might do the same for this one. And then we're done. So I've got an online team meeting this evening. That's always good fun. Pop that 
there. Hopefully, relatively straight. Famous last words. and I'll just heat those two up one after the other and then just layer these onto some white note cards I think And the second one. Okay. So definitely a white layer behind. looking for some open oh there they are open note cards and envelopes and there they were okay so see whether I just put those on like so I think I might do folder just glue that in place oops or not there is some there albeit not very much Try another one. That's better. Okay, so a scribble of glue on the back, not too close to the edges, and not too much glue. Get it round the right way to start with. And I think I'm just going to leave that as is on that one. so and then for this one I think I might put a layer behind so white note card and envelope it looks like it's got something spilt on it though I might find a bit of green or brown to put behind that layer so I've got soft suede here like that And let me just see 
Oh, there's a granny apple green. It's a little bit brighter and more exciting, isn't it? Let's just try. And this is a little bit of Bermuda Bay. Knew that was going to happen. So there's that one. Can't quite decide. I think it's one of these two. I think maybe that green works particularly well. And what I might do is add some granny apple green on top of this, which is a bit lighter. And I think I'm also going to trim a little bit of that off the bottom. And we're done. So, the idea that I had when I was walking to the chemist, <laughs> seems to have worked. Oh, that was a bit close, wasn't it? Just layer those up. And I could use the little spots of things on the backing, but there's such a small amount you're going to see that I don't think I need to. rather reminds me of the chalkboard technique that we've used many many years ago there we are so two slightly different looks although I guess they look quite similar for you so this one stamped embossed added white watercolour pen, watercolour pencil and then colour on top and then this one just stamped coloured with white watercolour pen and added a sentiment. So I hope you like them, something slightly different and um, I will have a look and see what other sets I could use that technique with so i hope you have a nice evening if you've been watching live today if you're watching on catch up or any other time of day then thank you so much for joining me if you have any questions about what i've created don't hesitate to send me a message or comment and if it requires a response or an answer i'll be delighted to get back to you and help you thank you so much do take care enjoy your evening bye for now